Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple mapping in IACS. First, let us understand what a mapping is. A mapping is a building block of data integration, which is used to connect and transform data from a variety of sources. In short, a mapping is a graphical representation of a data integration process. It consists of three main components, source. So a source represents the data we wanted to read from. It can come from a variety of sources, including cloud applications, on-premises databases, and SaaS applications. A mapping consists of a target. So a target is the destination where we wanted to write the data into. So it can be a database, it can be a data warehouse, or any other application. So data is read from source and written into the target. And we do have a third component called transformations in a mapping and which is in between source and target. So a transformation can be used to convert data from its source into the desired format for the target. So that's the purpose of a transformation. And this transformation is an optional one in a mapping. And we can have n number of transformations between source and target, like transformation one, transformation two, you know, transformation three like this. N number of transformations we can have between source and target. And remember, transformations are optional in a mapping. So this is a high-level overview of a mapping in a data integration process. Now let's create a simple mapping in IACS. Log in to your IACS account and select the data integration service. On to the left, you can see new here. Just click on it. On And you can see here different options, task mappings, map based task flows, components, right? So select mappings, select mapping, and hit on create. And you can see a beautiful user interface here. So this is called as Cloud Mapping Designer. And you can see by default, when we try to create a mapping, as source and target are the mandatory components, so we already have the source and target here, right? And you can see here on to the left, so design, we have the transformations, aggregator, data masking, you know, expression, filter transformation, hierarchical build, hierarchy builder, hierarchy parser, and so on, right? So these are all the transformations we can use within the mapping, right? And in the below, you can see the mapping name. So we can name our mapping. So and also we can specify the location where it has to be placed, right? And also you can see here, right? So when you click on this, say, uh, the mapping, so if it is not aligned correctly, so it aligns uh, in order, mapping aligns in order. And we can select the component and we can delete it, cut, copy, paste, you can zoom in, zoom out. So these are all the different options available within the cloud mapping designer. Now, for this video, we are going to define source and target. So for this video, what we are going to do is like, first, let's actually name our mapping. So I'm going to name my mapping as M underscore Oracle underscore platform, because I wanted to use Oracle as my source and read the data from Oracle and write it into a flat file. So let's go to my Oracle database. So this is my Oracle database installed on my local instance. and let me run this. So I have a table called customers and you can see the data here, right? So we have a table structure called with columns like customer ID, full name, title, city, state, all the address related information, phone, email, SSN, credit card, all the personal details, right? So this is the table structure of customers. And we do have row count of 499 rows of this table. And we wanted to treat this Oracle as source and we wanted to transform data into a target called flat file. And where I wanted to uh, create this flat file is onto my secure agent machine. Again, my secure agent machine is sitting on my local machine. So this is the location where I wanted to generate the flat file as target, right? Now, in order to do that, so we need to create the connection for source and target. So I already created a mapping, right? So we rename the mapping as or uh, M underscore Oracle underscore flat file, right? And I wanted this mapping to be placed into, not into the default folder, but I wanted to be present in my project, my folder. 
Now, we wanted to create connections for source and target. How do we do that? Go to home and click on connections. So for the purpose of uh, this video, I already created the connections. You can see the list of connections here. So Oracle source. So this is my Oracle source connection. So I wanted to validate my connection, hit on test connection. So it should say that the test connection is successful if all the details are valid. Yes, it says the test for this connection was successful, right. And even if you don't have the connections here, you can create one by click on new connection here. So fill in all your connection details and just save it. And if you want to know how to create a connection, so you can just refer my previous videos. All right, so we have an Oracle source connection and I wanted a target connection of a flat file. And you can see the type is flat file and I have chosen a directory. So in this directory, I wanted to create the flat file. You can validate the connection as well. So my target connection is a flat file and it has to be generated on my secure agent machine at this location, right? Okay, the test for this connection was successful. So both my source and target connections are validated now. Now we can go back to our mapping, select the source and you can see we can name our source. I'm going to name my source as source underscore Oracle and click on source tab. So here is the place where we need to provide the source connection. So you can drag this below wizard like this or you can choose this maximize window, which actually maximizes and we can comfortably provide the details. So the connection, what is my source connection? Oracle underscore SRC is my source connection. And I wanted to select the source type as single object and object, we need to select the object. Object is a table here. So just hit on select and choose the table, source table. Yeah, customers is my source table. I'm going to select that. And we can preview the data as well. Once the table is selected, we can preview the data. So this is my customers table, which is coming from Oracle database. And we are previewing the data. So you can see here, right? So the data has, we can review like, uh, I think uh, there are like around 10 rows, 10 records will be displayed and all the columns are displayed, right? And you can see fields. So all the fields, right? The columns, column names, the data type of the column, precision, scale, and where it is coming from, right? So this is my source. We define the source. In the same way, we wanted to define our target. So just select target, select the target, and again, the target as flat file. And these are the incoming fields coming from the source, right? So let me maximize this window. So you can see these are the fields. And we need to select the target and provide the target connection. In this case, my target connection will be flat file. Select the object. And I wanted to create a new file. So I'm going to choose target object as create new at runtime and provide a file name. I wanted to provide a customer as my flat file name and the extension will be CSV. target fields will be not available as we are going to create a new file, right? All right, now, as we already defined source and target now, you can just save this mapping. And before doing that, you can actually validate the mapping. So you, you see this tick mark here, an icon with tick mark, just select that to validate the mapping. So it says mapping is valid. And you can also see that here, right, with a green tick mark, which says that the mapping is valid. So save your mapping now.
and then we wanted to run this mapping job how to do that just hit on this run button so you can't run the mapping as is the mapping will be converted to a task mapping task automatically uh, and you can see here you need to choose the definition runtime environment runtime environment environment is your secure agent so this is my secure agent so before you select it just make sure that your secure agent is up and running all the services under it is under it or up and running so in my case all the services are up and running so i'll just go ahead and run this mapping job you can track the job status here in my jobs job is running now it just takes a few seconds to complete the job all right you can see status has success and rose process is 499 and you can even look into this mapping job the details of the job are displayed here you can see it's a, uh, you know the task name the task type is mapping and what's the duration of the job to complete and what's your secure agent you can even uh, download the session log and in, on to the below you can see what are the successful rows what are, what is the count of successful rows right from source and what's the count of uh, target uh, rows returning to the target right so and now let's verify the target is that well right so you can see in the onto the location customer.csv has been created so let's open the csv file and verify validate the data and you can see here so the data which we have seen in oracle has been transformed into a flat file right and you can even verify the count as well so you can see it says 500 but the first row you, you can see those are the column names so we have the 499 rows here so we have the target created as a flat file and it has been written into the directory which we asked to write into right so this is how we create a simple mapping in iics so in this video we have seen what a mapping is and how to create a simple mapping in iics so that's all for this video if you like the video please like subscribe and share it thanks for watching